Hey guys, it's Jess here, and here's a quick message here. This series is rated PG, and it's not for kids. I repeat that this is not for kids, because it's got fake blood, violence, kissing scenes, etc. It won't have it in every single episode, but it's still part of a series. And to top it off, I am over the age of 13, and I am an adult collector. Enjoy this series, guys, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on both my Discord and Instagram uh, for updates and some other stuff. And both of those links will be in the description below, so be sure to go check out those links. Also, yes, I am using toys, but I it's mostly for the series. It's for teenagers and over. Enjoy this episode. Love you all. Okay, it's going to be hard to swallow for me, but let's just say I've been keeping a secret from our friends. Like what? You didn't even say anything why you were helping us with this curse business. I know, it just wasn't the right time to tell you all. Um... Sorry to interrupt, but can we introduce ourselves first? Right, sorry. I'm Dedo and that's some um, Tiffany as you two already made each other by being locked up in this cage. Yeah, anyway, moving on. It's nice to meet you, Dedo. I'm Lois Lane. Nice to meet you too. And Tiffany, can I have a moment to, with you alone? Sure, take all the time that you need. How is that possible? Lois Lane is a Superman character from the comic books. That's what I said, and why are we talking about this? Or haven't you already know we are locked up with no way out? Calm down Tiffany, I understand you're upset and you're just lucky you just got your long hair. Wait, so this isn't your real self? Oh. I am such an idiot! This cage actually shows up us who we really are and who and what would we do. Like what? Well, since uh, we both are like this, I say it's permanent for good. Oh no, not again. Oh please no. I don't want to be a swan anymore. Uh, any more? Okay, uh, you got me. My name isn't Dededo, it's Odette. Princess Odette. Oh my dog, so that means that you're the swan princess, right? A swan princess? Hmm, I like it. Swan princess Odette. Oh, keep that in mind. Don't get me wrong, that is a good princess title. Right, since I'm a swan again. Again, I'm confused. It's a long story tied with my curse. I don't believe it. Tell me. <sighs> Very well. It all happened, happened 16, 16, years 16 years ago. ago. Me and my father, King William, William just, just left visiting, visiting another, another kingdom. kingdom. We talked, we talked about, about Prince, Prince Derek, Derek, and I wanted, and I wanted to, know to know if we had something for each other, until a witch appeared alongside a dark wizard named Rothbart. So, you must be King William and Princess Odette. How do you know our names? Let's just say I have eyes and ears everywhere, like Gabby. Wait, as in the Wicked Witch? She's returned? Well, well. 
Aren't you a clever king? Until this happened. But are you clever enough to mess with me? Oh my goodness. Run or dirt. Nice, that's the king out of the way. Now for Odette. I'll handle her. Ugh, you did your part. Now it's my turn. And I know what spell I can use. Fine. I do this spell to transform Odette into a swan. Phew, that was a close one, but wait, where's father? Father? Hello? What? What happened? Why? Because you're a swan, and I gotta say, this is a curse I never did before. You did this? Change me back! Nah, but I'll make a deal with you. And what will that be? If you serve me, and then, and only then, I'll remove my curse on you. There was no, there was way, no way out of this, so I took the, the deal. So you were friends with Celia like I was? Not even close. I was treated as a slave by doing her dirty work for her. Did Celia ever remove her curse uh, that she put on you? I'll give you one small guess. No. Yep. She never removed it, but she did say only two love's kids can break the curse. Like someone you truly love. Actually, it's not. Celia said something about the chosen one living loving someone else at her age? Oh, you mean Echo and Jason. Even Lindsay and Zoe know that they like one another. Wait, I think I got it. To what Celia meant. What? If Echo and Jason are the ones, then the curse will be broken. And Gabby loses, but how are we supposed to get out of here and tell the others? I only wish I knew. I guess uh, we'll have to wait until we hear from AD. Hey Dedo, I mean Odette. How will the others know what to do? Oh, you seriously don't know our friends. They'll think of something like getting the celebration ready. Right, since both Echo's birthday and the big celebration is very near and, and they're on the exact same day. You know, before I got captured, I think I saw something happen to Echo, uh, but I don't know what happened. I'm sure she's fine. I hope you're right, Tiffany. Oh, this is so sweet. Worrying about poor, poor Echo. It's sickening. Hey, stay out of this little miss in charge of everything. We miss our friends. That you want to kill your own sister while well, you let my sister suffer at your paws. Oh, I assure you, Tiffany, she is safe, and I will return you and Dedo back to your friends. But not just yet, not until the time is right. What about Lois? What about her? Well, it would be nice if you set her free too, along with my sister. At what cost? By telling you what Celia's plans are, and if you didn't notice, Celia and Amy's loyalties lie with Gabby, not you. Nice try, no deal. Well, at least I tried. Wait. Oh, at least Lois, and you tell no one about this, or I'll harm or even kill your sister. No, don't Tiffany. Stay out of this princess, 
this is her decision. It's a deal. Perfect. But I can tell you something. Roy is coming to Fairytale Lost High School and Gabby is not what she is. And you're telling us this now and what do you mean Gabby isn't what she is? How am I supposed to know? And besides, I don't want to be involved with her plans anymore. Plans? What plans? That is not for me to say. Then what can you tell us? Ugh, I just told you, what is coming? Wait, why am I even talking to you about this long-haired feline? I was wondering the same thing. Ugh, I don't have time for this. Well, that was a total waste of my time. What did she mean, boys coming to Fairytale Lost? I don't know, but... Uh, I have a feeling Echo and everyone else will be ready. You're right, but what about us? As you already know, we are our true selves permanently. Guys, what's going on? Not now, Lois. No, I really need to know if I'm ever going to get home. Fine. Well, let's just say some very dark stuff is happening, like war coming to Fairytale Lost High School, led by an evil witch. Oh no, that's terrible. I can help. What? No, it's going to be very dangerous. Oh, come on, I can handle a little danger. Uh, I don't know, Lois. I think that's a great idea to let Lois help out. Are you and what have you done with Tiffany? Come on, Odette. We need all the help we can get to win this fight against the Wicked Witch. Please, Odette. Pretty please, with a cherry on top. I'm begging you. Oh, fine. You can help until we can get you home. Yeah, thank you. I sure hope Echo and the others are doing fine without us. OMG, we are not doing well without Tiffany and Dedo. Don't worry, I believe we're doing fine and I know Mrs. Locke knows what she's doing. That's right guys, the stage is in the perfect spot now for the decorations. See, it's working along fine since the party is a few weeks away. I see you're fine, but you reckon Dano and Tiffany will be here? I sure hope so. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go help out. Hey, Jason. Oh, Zoe, I believe you're here to help out. Yeah, I sure am. What can I do to help? Well, you could start by setting out the tables and you can get Lindsay to help out. Sure, I can do that. Oh, and Jason? Yeah? Do you reckon both Amy and Celia will come? Well, I hope not because I don't want them to ruin the party for Echo or anyone else. Okay, but we better keep an eye out for them just to be safe. That would be great, and I hate it to become Echo's second party to be a disaster. Don't you worry, we'll make this the best celebration that the school has ever seen. Thanks for the heads up, Zoe. Hey, this is what friends do, right, Lindsay? What? I can't hear what the whispering you two are doing. You know what? I'll take that as a yes. Come on guys, we got a party to set up. <laughs>
Pearl. I should have been there with you. I am not being a very good aunt, but I will make this right. I promise. Hello, Jason, Lindsay, Zoe, Lucas, anyone? Wait, where am I? All I remember, I was trying to rescue Dedo until someone knocked me out. Huh? Who, who are you? I am the one that you are looking for, my dear Echo. Father? Yes, it's me, King Hunter. I am your father. Oh my gosh, it's really you? I have so many questions uh, to ask you and I got so much to tell you. Yes, I believe you do. Firstly, tell me about Mother. I'm afraid it's way too painful to talk about. Tell me anyway, I've been wanting to know ever since I was abandoned on my aunt's doorstep. Echo... It's just, I need to know. Please, Dad. Alright, it all began when I married your mother. Once, Once the wedding, the wedding was, was over, over, everything, everything was, at, was peace. at peace. Until, Until young Sid, Sid told me told of Gabby, Gabby the Wicked Witch. Witch. What? Are you sure? Yes, and whatever you do, don't tell Skylar. I don't know if I can keep this from her. I know. Let's just say you're doing this to attack to her and your child. Okay, I understand. I'll do it for the family. There you are, Hunter. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. Okay, and you do know you can tell me anything, right? Of course, my dear Skylar. Anyway, let's have some fun. After all, this is our wedding, after all. Come on. Please excuse me, young Sid. I'll talk to you later. Gabby is still coming soon. She'll stop at nothing to ruin your family, Hunter. After that, After that six, months six months have passed, passed and I dared not, not to tell, tell your mother about, about a great death threat, 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 but all that, that changed on that fateful day. day. Hmm. King Hunter, King Hunter, it's your wife. What is it? Is she alright? I'm afraid not. She's been attacked. Oh no, then this must mean... Oh no, Skylar! Skylar? Skylar! Oh no, 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 Skylar, please don't leave me. I'm s sorry, Hunter. 
it's so all right it's gonna be okay where's the baby she's safe it's it's a girl yes what's her name echo echo that's a pretty name like yours thanks now it's your turn to look after her Skylar, there's something I have to tell you, and it's something I've been keeping from you. What is it? I think I know what attacked you. Who? Gabby the Wicked Witch. What? But how? I don't know, but I'll do everything in my power to protect our child. Thank you, but before I die, tell Echo I love her more than anything. Even if she doesn't know me. I will, and you're not going to die. Please, just hang on. No, I already lost a lot of blood, and you can't save me. Now, and... <laughs> just to let you know, I love you, Hunter. I love you too, Skylar. Goodbye, Hunter. After that After sad that day, day, I spent a spent year by looking, looking after, after you. you. Oh, that changed when Gabby arrived. I gave it to an old friend of mine. Her name is Queen Elsa of Arendelle. Now, mark my words, Elsa, I will get Echo no matter what it takes. Ah. How's that to keep you shut it, Gabby? Oh, that's not good. Oh, no, guy, we have to find a way out of here. This doesn't look good. Hmm, I have an idea. Any last words? Alright, you win, but you have to get through me first. With pleasure. Now! Now! Mark my words, Hunter, I will get your child and you don't have much to care for! Be safe, Echo, until the next time we meet. And there you have it. I... I didn't know what to say and Grandmother Grace said that my mother died in childbirth. That was a lie. She was only trying to protect you from the truth and I believe you read the, my note. Note? Oh, of course. Uh, the very one that was in my cot and my friend read it. Yes, you must uh, miss them, including a certain someone. What, you mean me and Jason? We're just friends. Sure. I mean, he's a good guy, don't get me wrong, but... Alright, I do like him, but I don't know if he feels the same way. I know where you're coming from, because I felt the same way about when I first met your mother. 
It's love at first sight. Yes, and that's what your mother felt back about seeing me for the first time when our eyes first met. That's wonderful, but I have to be at the party so I can stop Gabby. Brave words, but this is going to be the end for you, Echo. Why is everyone keep on saying that? Because it's a warning, Gabby isn't a real pet. You mean like an alien? Something like that, and I can't say much, but I will say this. Once both the curse is broken and Gabby is gone, there's a terrible price that has to be paid. Like a death or a trade? That is not for me to say, but you will figure it out on your own. Okay, how do I get out of here? I just got knocked out when I was trying to save one of my friends from Slee and Amy. Slee and Amy? I heard of those two. Those are Gabby's minions. Hold on, I just figured out who knocked me out. It was Amy and it has been more than 24 hours since I got knocked out. Hmm, I have heard of this before. It was more than a 24 hour spell Amy put on you. Wait, so Amy has magic too? Yes, just like you. You were on the vault door in the school library. Oh yeah, but what's in it? Knowledge that must not be read but only the chosen one and her trusted ones that can read it. Okay, but I still don't understand what's so important about me in that vault. Well, for one thing, you are the rightful ruler of Morganis and you got magic. So that explains how I opened up the library doors when they were locked. Interesting. And I don't know why you got magic unless someone in the royal family does. Wait, so you mean no one in the royal family has magic but me? I'm afraid so, and by the way, how's Laura? Laura? She's my sister, as you call her... Um, Grandmother Grey. Oh, she's fine, she misses you. Oh, and she has a son called Lucas. That's great, and I'm glad she's moved on. What about Laura's husband? I don't know, she never talks about him. Not even Lucas knows about his father. Well, Lucas will have to know sooner or later, like you. You're right, but I really have to get back. Of course, and you wanted to know where you are? Yes. We're in your mind. My mind? Well, that's new, and that never happened to me before. It's like uh, you're in your own self-conscious. What? But how? Because you're still recovering. Still recovering? It was just a knockout. No, no, that wasn't just a knockout Amy gave you. But... My dear Echo, you must trust me and do everything I tell you and I already lost your mother. I'm not going to lose you too. Now hold on a minute, you reminded me of a friend I met and she's overtective of her apprentice. Where are you going with this? What I'm trying to say is both me and that apprentice are all grown up and we can look after ourselves. Please, father. Oh, come on, at least say something. Alright, I'll tell you how to get out of here, but there's something I need to tell you first. And what's that? When you got knocked out, it wasn't just a knockout, it was a trigger. A trigger for what? I'm 
not sure, but if my theory is right, once the curse is broken, that trigger will take action and face Gabby until she's completely gone. And it won't stop until Gabby is gone from existence. Exactly my point of the theory. I will do it. For the sake of my kingdom and my people, including my friends. Wise words, Princess Echo. Before I go, where are you hiding? Somewhere far, far away, beyond the forest into the unknown. Okay, but that's not really an answer. Trust me, that's for another time. I love you, Father. I love you too, Echo. See you soon, I promise. Be careful out there. I will. That's my girl. Now focus on the place you want to go and you'll be there. Okay, the place I want to go is at home in my bed. Why? Because one, I have a party to go to and second, it is obvious because I'll be at home. Good point. Now go and good luck. Thanks, Dad. We'll be together soon, Echo. Uh... Ow? Where am I? A forest. Wait. I remember now. It was Echo and an annoying friend who banished me here. Gabby, there you are. I've been looking everywhere. Of course you were. How's things? Emmy cast a triggering spell on Echo. Excellent. Finally, someone did something right for once. Hey! So help me, Echo. I'll finish it off like I did to your mother. War is coming!